Thank you. Thank you for your participation today. I'm Perry Liao, the marketing project manager of JTAC Corporation. Today, we would like to give you a great news. Yes, IPv6 is ready on JLS. The first model would be Vigor 2850 series VDSO2 firewall. Later, I will give you more IPv6 features what Vigor 2850 series is capable to do for you. Let's talk about the IPv6 feature and we start from the WAN interface. Bigger 2850 series has three WAN ports. One is the VDSO2 WAN port and it can support auto fallback to the ADSO22 plus <coughs> internet feed. It means when your infrastructure is not ready for the VDSO2 or the price is still too high, you can remain the current ADSO22 plus internet feed to the Vega 2850 and when the time is right you can switch to the VDSO2 and support by Vega 2850 series as well and you also can configure your LAN for to become the gigabit SNL WAN and you we also support USB mobile broadband through the USB 2.0 WAN port all these three WAN ports can be configured to support IPv6 network but you can only configure one WAN port to support IPv6 network. The WAN interface of the Vega 2850 series supports two circumstances. One is native IPv6. It means the local ISP is capable to assign the IPv6 address directly. When you check the web user interface, you can see its physical connection will be the dual stack. It means it supports the IPv4 network so does the IPv6 network. And when you see, when you under the IPv6 situation, when the global link is available, so it means it directly access to the IPv6 network. And the mode would be the connection type. In the native IPv6, we recommend you use the PPP as the connection type. It works for the most ISP. Another situation would be turn on mode. It's for when the local ISP has no IPv6 service, user can use the turn on mode to access the IPv6 network by the help from the IPv4 to IPv6 turn on service provider. So from its web user interface, you can see we still the dual stack and we still have the global IPv6 IP address, but we change the mode from the PPP to TSPC at this situation. In fact, we have two connection types for the terminal mode. One is TSPC, another is AICCU for the terminal mode to connect to the IPv4 to IPv6 terminal service provider. Another topic is LAN interface. Vigor 2850 series got four LAN ports. You can use the Sumlane LAN 1 to do the IPv6 address assignment to your device under the local area network. As we know, in the IPv6 era, all devices got public IP on the local area LAN network. So that's what Vigor 2850 series can do for you. As we know, Vigor 2850 series can do the IPv6 address assigned to device under the local LAN network through the subnet LAN 1. Moreover, it supports the IADVD configuration and the DHCP v6 server configuration. In fact, the PC decides the priority for applying IADVD or the DHCP v6 configuration. For example, Windows 7 default is iDVD. The following topic will be the firewall. As we know, you got a public IP address for your device under the LAN network. So, the firewall rule of the Vega 2850 series would be default to block the access from WAN to LAN. So, your device won't be the easy target to attack. 
In fact, Vega 2850 series has a default to block when to land connection. But when the situation like the branch office would like to connect to the Vega 2850 located in the headquarters to access the corporate database. So in that situation, only the IPv6 address list in the firewall filter route can do the when to land connection. So how we do it? You just go to the firewall filter setup and you can choose the direction from when to land and choose the source IP and you still can choose the IPv6 address belonging to the branch office. So you can do the when to land connection from branch office to headquarters. The following topic will be the bandwidth management with the advanced quality of service control. Yes, Vega 2850 series can do the quality of service control or we say QoS for device with the IPv6 address network. So your device with the IPv6 address can still have the prioritize to let your essential applications to have the highest priority or and even the bandwidth. For the quality of service, for example, when you got the FTP server, mail server and web server under the local LAN network with the IPv6 address, you can also do the quality of service by the Vega 2850 series. You just go to bandwidth management and choose quality of service and you can choose the SNL type as the IPv6 network. And for the web server, you can also choose the service type. In our situation, it will be HTTP for the web server. The last topic, yes, Vega 2850 series can do the management and diagnostic for the, you in the environment of the complete IPv6 network and also it will be the due step for the IPv4 network as well. By adopting Vega 2850 series, users can do both the IPv4 and the IPv6 network management and diagnostic, supported by web user interface. And admin can also use the telnet to access for the management and diagnostic as well. Thank you. And please visit us at www.jetech.com for more information.